what's going on everyone? My name is Chris, this is my wife Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin here on YouTube and Instagram. And today we have one of the biggest Ben's hauls that I've seen Kathy have in quite a while. You think so? I think it's, well, I helped carry a little bit of it in here. So <laughs> well, it is I quite a bit. We have stuff shoved in Hulkin, so this is just a bunch of smaller bags, I think. It's probably, I mean, I spent around 250, 260, so okay. it's still, Maybe it's because I had more trips in and out of here bringing the stuff similar in. Similar size haul to usual. Okay. So I guess an average yeah. Ben's haul. <laughs> nothing, nothing huge, nothing amazing. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we do have kind of our standard setup up here where Kathy's going to be separating things as she's sharing with you so that they can go to the different buy sell trade stores around the town and then some stuff you're going to keep and sell yourself. Yeah. So what do you got on the table here? Yeah, so okay so this bin's haul I got yesterday but like these are some I've been to the bins probably four or five times since we've recorded the last yeah. haul so like we just haven't recorded the haul. I've just been listing the stuff. Which I do want to say I guess I, I wanted to say this but thank you so much for supporting us while we are kind of I'm still working on the house. I am getting to a point where we're going to be doing videos again soon. Again this video is going to be probably a week at least in the future so we've recorded this a week ago. Um, but we are getting to a point where I'm not having to spend every day at the house. We're gonna be working with property managers and all that kind of stuff. So um, we're getting close guys. So thank you so much for all of that support and watching and keeping us alive through all that. So. so these are just a few pieces that have come out of those other hauls that I've got that we didn't do a haul for. Yeah. So I just wanted to show you cause these were like pretty cool finds I guess. Yeah. Um, so first off was this shuffleboard like carpet game. You know, I picked this up just because it looked new and I was like, oh, the kids, our kids will probably have fun playing this. But then I'm going to look it up on eBay first to see. Yeah, luckily it has anything. a barcode so you it can did. just. Yeah. And, um, you know, with the barcode, I'm pretty sure I only saw one sold, but only one listed. Mm -hmm. and the one sold was $161, but with free shipping. This is pretty heavy. Yeah. And it is long. A little so big. Like, yeah. It might be, the shipping might be kind of high. But based on weight at the bins, I just paid a standard $8 price on this. So I paid eight bucks. This might sell for like, I, I listed it yesterday actually for 160 plus shipping. Mm. We have a 15% off eBay sale running pretty much always, so. You didn't try to convince them that it's a game and should be 69 cents? <laughs> no, I didn't, I should have. <laughs> yeah. um, I, I would have tried. I actually did that with something over here, so. Um, anyways, I was happy to pay eight bucks, you know. Yeah, even at eight bucks, it's still a huge Right, and if it potential. never sells, it's gonna be a fun thing for our kids to play too, so. Yeah. I thought that was cool. The one listed was like carpet only. It didn't, it wasn't new and it didn't have all the pieces. Yeah. And they had that listed at 40 something, but I think this is probably at least a hundred bucks plus shipping. Um, from what I could tell, it was like originally sold maybe on Wayfair, mm. but I think it's out of stock, so. That was cool. And then this, I got probably two weeks ago at this point. I haven't done anything with it. I need to wipe it down, but it's a, um, just like a cute little baby toy. Um, What's this brand? The brand is Finn and Emma, 100% organically grown. So yeah, just like wooden baby toys. Yeah. Um, yeah, like you can tell, this is a, a nice, Yeah. that looks like maple, or not maple. <laughs> it looks like <laughs> walnut. I don't know why I said maple, but yeah, it's, that's a nice quality piece right there. Um, I was like originally thinking I'll take it to one spawn child. It didn't weigh much. I. This is probably like less than two pounds, honestly. So it didn't cost much at the bins. And once upon a child, I'm sure would take this, but then I looked it up and I think on Posh, I could get like 50 to 80, although I don't know about shipping. Cause yeah. It's bigger than the like standard size of a box. So I'll have to figure that out. Otherwise I'll probably just sell it on local marketplace, Facebook, but mm -hmm. I mean, that might be 50 bucks. So that's cool. Very cute. We got the Reese guy here. Chris supporting us. I wasn't going to put the camera over there because it's messy. Well, yes. That's, that's not the messy part. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to show up behind yeah. me. Uh, just kidding. <laughs> uh, this is um kind of weird, <laughs> but I don't know. Anything that's like different or like odd, I just have to look it up because this is the kind of stuff that always surprises you on like what... Like, Oracle cards, uh, like yeah. tarot cards? I mean... Romance I Oracle cards. I haven't actually looked through them, but... um. I, I don't know. I don't really want to look that much, but anyways, huh. um, I mean, this originally was only like fifty, yeah, fifteen ninety five. But the sell through on eBay, when I scanned the barcode, eight were listed, nine were sold. <laughs> so I sell through, and fifty to like a hundred dollars were the pre owned really? comps on this. Yeah, I don't know why. So, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. So I just thought that was fun. Uh, I have a list of these. I don't even know if they're all in there. I didn't count them. 
I, I just had to show you guys. So, <laughs> are you going to be able to open it up and count them? <laughs> I, I guess so. maybe you'll have to. <laughs> I don't want to. Do that. <laughs> uh, I didn't know what this was, but it seemed like one of those uh, something that Chris would like kind of things. I don't know. <laughs> Does it seem like wizardy or it seems, what is it? I would think anime okay. if I saw it. Yeah. Which, I mean, I'm, I'm not opposed to anime. I just don't watch it. Yeah. I don't know why. <laughs> so I saw the tag said, I actually don't know. Is it Riot? Or? Riot. Oh, that's, yeah, that's Riot. a gaming. So Riot I saw it when it said games. I was like, oh, if it's video game related, it's probably at least like a $10 plushie, right? Yeah. So I was going to grab it, and then I Google lensed it, and the one that popped up I saw was like listed at a hundred something dollars. I was like, oh, this might be something good, and yeah. it seems like it is. So as far as I can tell, there's only one listed on eBay currently uh, for like 117 but it's shipping from Australia, so the shipping's crazy if you're like oh. trying to get it to the U.S., but that one's new. This one's not. It has dog hair, so I'm going to have to wash it and also like scrape that out, which you should link that little thingy. Actually, yeah. go and grab it really fast. I'll can just I, show you. Can I look over here? Where is it? <laughs> it's in that one from. This one here? Yeah. Do you see it at all? <laughs> so we have this linked in our Amazon thing. I think it's a hair tool, but um, I use for it for like. For removing hair from like a hairbrush. Yeah. I just use it for like uh, Velcro usually and stuff, yeah. but it's good for like getting hair out of plushies. So I'll do that and then I'll probably throw this in the washing machine. But anyways. The, yeah, so the one listed is like 117, but like the sold ones, somebody did auction. That was not a good idea. They only got like 20 bucks plus shipping, but the other one sold said $99 plus like free shipping. Wow. Though, so. For used. For, uh, I think that one was Maybe used. Maybe new. New. But yeah, even if it's new, like there's right. none listed. So I mean, this is probably at least 50. Yeah. But I mean, as far as plushies go, it's a pretty intricate design. Yeah. I mean, you've got different pieces, you know, <laughs> staff, <laughs> hair, hat. Right. A so, coat. So, I mean. Yeah. I mean, it, someone said rare and by just by how many are not listed on eBay, I would say that's pretty true. So. Yeah. Anyways, cool. Fine. Just wanted to share that. Yeah. Just, I mean, just, I guess, be interested when you're looking through plushes and there's a million plushes at the bins. I, I actually got a few this day, but I left way more than I got. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Just be curious because sometimes you'll be surprised. A lot of my best sales have been plushes. So. Yeah. And this was a super cool find. I I tried to make my first reel or TikTok or not TikTok, but yeah. Like Instagram. a short form. Yeah. So I was by myself at the bins and I found these. And then I didn't know what they were at first, but I was like, oh, these feel like leather. That's interesting. You know, it yeah. felt like a quality leather. So I was like, let me put these in my bag. I'll check them out. Well, I found one and then I was like, well, let me look that up. Cause then I started finding more. Um, I, I think I found 12 total. This is not all of them because I've already listed some. Mm -hmm. But anyways, originally I thought they were all this brand, which says Chic Sparrow. So they just seem like little handmade, I don't know, just what, like a little notebook cover. Like you put your own paper. Yeah, like them, a like, journal right. cover. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, I was seeing pre-owned sold for like, I want to say 50 plus dollars for one of these little things. Yeah. Um, so when I... I'm at the bins. It's $1.69 a pound what I'm paying. So anyways, as I was trying to make my reel, I was like, let me, I'm trying to, I don't know how to make reels. So I'm like <laughs> thinking about what would be the best way to do this. So then I like, I'm going to go check these out all by themselves, even though I had a cart full of stuff just to like see how much these weigh and how yeah. much I think I could turn that into. I think it was three something that I paid for all 12 of these. Um, and if they're all going to go for like 50 bucks, that this is potentially like $600. I did sell my first one yesterday. And yeah. It's over forty dollars. So Chris can put the screenshot of that one up. But so I've already turned three into forty. Yeah, um, and you still got and, all these. Yeah, so they're not all the chic sparrows. Some actually, the one that sold was a I different know, brand. Something fun. Yeah. Yeah, and then a few of them I noticed don't actually have a brand, so those ones might not go for as much. But I would say at least six or eight of them have the branded names. In yeah. which case, those are probably at least forty. Mm -hmm. So four times eight, you know. I, I actually wouldn't be surprised if the unbranded one sold yeah. for that much too, just because. It's real. This one doesn't have a brand, but it feels so nice. Yeah. So. Like I like that one um, the most. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, just I, just curiosity. Like I, this is kind of why I like the bins. Like you know how I was wanting to do only shoes, but yeah. I like shoes because they're easy. But like this is just fun. Right. To find this stuff, so. Yeah. So you were making a short. What happened? I filmed it the wrong direction, I guess. <laughs> yeah. So I was trying to do it the way that Chris taught me for YouTube. But yeah. the shorts are the opposite. That's, yeah. So that's so confusing because like you can't really then take your thing and put it both. 
Like well, it would it would be too small. It's hard. It's just like how does like content creators they literally think about filming everything two times? Mm, I mean, there's ways you can you know like, I guess use the same footage, but it's it's just not optimized, I guess. But uh, I've always said that they should make a camera that records simultaneously both perspectives, right? And then you can export two files, <laughs> especially in today's age. Like so. we we live in. Where, where, you know, that's becoming more normal, so. I still have the footage if you want to try to do something. <laughs> I might, yeah. yeah. I was trying to be all cute. I was like, oh, now I checked out. Now I'm going to, like, film the outside of the Good Will Bins. Like, I'm yeah. pretending like I'm walking in to see what we can find for today. Right. <laughs> like, anyways, so. I mean, I haven't looked at it, so it might still be fine. But think about, like, if you're filming, like, the word Goodwill, and if you're too close and it feels like the whole width yeah. of your widescreen, once you try to put it land, you know, portrait mode or whatever then that's where it's an issue. Okay. Anyway. Anyway, we've only spent 20 minutes on the stuff that's not even part of this actual haul. Now so. let's get to the haul. <laughs> um, yeah. All right. So, yeah. So a lot of this is going to once upon a child. I don't think I have. I tried to separate stuff, but I don't know. I don't know what I ended up with. So this is actually, I don't know how you say it. I think it's Iviva, the Lululemon, like, kids clothes. Mm. I could probably list this on my own for at least 15, but I just don't really like these like athletic tanks. So I'm probably going to just take that to Once Upon a Child. I feel like they sell this brand for like 11 or 12 bucks. So they'll probably give me $3 or so. This is, I think, Walmart shirt. Uh, Granimals, new at Tag for Once Upon a Child. Um, this, remember when I sold that Harris Tweed, like, Orvis blazer? Yeah. Well, this isn't Orvis, but it is... Um, Harris Tweed? It's Harris Tweed, and it's... Oh, but, nice. It's just Land's End, but I did look up comps. Because the day that I found the Orvis one, I had also found another Harris Tweed of a different brand, and I looked that one up, and, like, this health, it was not good. Yeah. Neither were the sales. But the Land's End one did have over 100% sell-through with Harris Tweed as part of it, and this is 100% wool, so... Nice. Seem to be in good shape. I I feel like the comps were like forty to fifty or so, so not too bad. I'll list that one on my own. I like that. Yeah, it's really nice. I think I just got these for us. Just like some new little Christmas towels. Yeah, so, it's almost like this is the best time to be buying yeah, Christmas there's stuff. Still a lot of Christmas <laughs> stuff in the bins. Um, actually, well, this is not part of this haul, but. The men seem like they went back to 49 cents a pound for linens. And last time I went, I got like a nice bedding set, like a hearth and hand. So like the Target um, bedding set, like sheets, comforter, everything. And then plus like two Pottery Barn pillows, like really nice ones mm -hmm. with the inserts. All of that was like six bucks total. So hmm. it's just I'm excited about the linen pricing. But yeah, those are like Christmas pillows. That's why. Anyways, missed. <laughs> I got a show. <laughs> Um, so yeah, uh, this is a Bear Bradley purse. It's not like a, you know, normal Bear Bradley style with all the colorfuls, but it's in really good shape, so I did get it. I, I feel like these purses are useful. It does have that RFID, so it's kind of like with, it has all the cards oh, yeah. slots and stuff, so I don't think this is going to go for a ton, but maybe like 10, 15 bucks, maybe 20 bucks. I actually might put this in the Uptown Cheapskate bin. I think it's going to take Bear Bradley. We'll see. I don't know. I, I have a lot here, so I don't want to list too much on my own yet. Yeah. Um, this is Sweet Honey. So that's a, at least it was a good kids brand. I don't, I haven't sold it in a long time, but they're just the pants, the dresses I was able to sell for like 35, 40 bucks. I'm thinking like 15 on these. So I'll probably list those. Yeah. Are they on linen? My own. Uh, they feel like it, but. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. 100% linen. So size 18 month. And then these are little Matilda Jane, size six girls, like velvety leggings. So I'll probably list those as well. 15 and 20, I'm assuming. So I was trying to get out of the bins last night and then I, you know, they kept bringing out new stuff, so I couldn't. <laughs> How could Anyways, you leave? <laughs> so they brought out, like there were literally hundreds and I had them all in my cart because I thought they were various sizes, but they weren't. So I threw most of them back. I just kept three. I literally threw hundreds of them back, like all new at Tag Target kids, but it's size 18 girls, so that's not. Mm. So I was like, I'm gonna just take these all to once upon a child, which I'm pretty sure they would accept them, but because it's this size, I'm not sure if they would. Are so. you saying it's kind of a big size? It is, and like, so immature kind of, like, of stuff? Yeah. I see, yeah. So, like, honestly, these are probably gonna, like, hopefully someone's bigger but younger. Like, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, 
I mean, I think these are cute, but like size 18, like would be yeah. like, more of a preteen or teenage girl almost. So growing out of the, yeah. the this kind of stuff. Yeah. yeah. So. Anyways, I just grabbed like one of each, but like honestly, there was so many of all of the prints and even other prints I didn't grab, so womp womp, but yeah. Yeah. That would I mean, have it makes so sense. cool to find all those. That's why there was that many of the bins, you right. know? That's just something that doesn't sell as yeah, much. 18, so. so sometimes it does seem too good to be true if you find, right. you know, why is there hundreds of this kind of thing? Think about it before you buy it all. <laughs> um, I think that was a good catch. I think this is cute just because of the giraffes and it was new at tag, so that's why I got it. But Jane, I don't know. Well, it's from TJ Maxx, uh, but little giraffe novelty cool. print. Yeah, super cute. Probably gonna take that to the bicycle trade though. What? I just wanted to get in closer. It's like colorful. Yeah. So, uh, they did take that like Talbot's dog one the other day, I'm pretty sure, at Uptown Street. Mm. So, this little Carter's pineapple <laughs> costume, so that'll be for Once Upon a Child. <laughs> Uh, this is for Once Upon a Child, some old navy jeans. These are probably like for Play-Dohs, um, but it has cotton on. They're like a wide leg style, which is a current style. So hopefully they take those. Uh, I think I need to wash them, but I can do that. All right. This is a cute little Cat and Jacks from Target brand kid skirt. So Once Upon a Child, um, snow gear. Went to Sierra brand, Once Upon a Child. This is free people. Um, we, we the free. So I'm sure I could sell this on my own for at least 20, but I'd rather take it to the buy sell trade store. It's like all boy size 10 jeans, which is like our son's next size. So, <clears throat> but they're not really the style I like. So I figured I'm gonna take these to Once Upon a Child. If they don't take them for whatever reason, I'll keep these for Connor, but yeah. Just pretty good shape for like jeans at the bins. I mean, yeah. A tiny bit of knee wear, but. No real heel drag or anything. So, yeah. Um, and then this little superhero shirt. Let's see, it's we are unstoppable together. Hmm. Once upon a child, and then these are for Connor, just uh, well, maybe like gym pants. Um,. So like I checked out once for like a hundred dollars and then I went back in but I didn't have any more IKEA bags in my car because I like put my first half the haul in them. So then I was like looking for bags all in the bins to carry my stuff. Yeah. On this one, which is pretty cool. This is a cool one. Um, it's just horses, so I was like, oh, that will carry my stuff, and then I can probably sell it for a good amount. So yeah. And I have this inside of it. Which is even cooler. <laughs> and yeah, I mean it has a tag, but it was in the bin, so it's. I don't know that I'd call it new, but it's in really good shape. Yeah, that one's got a tag too. Yeah. So, excited about that. Oh, there's a diamond here. $0.10. I, cents. I did find $10 the other day in the toy bin too. So that Look cool. at that. $10.10. <laughs> um, I, yeah. mean, I, I mean, I don't know. I didn't look up a comp on this, but this is, I mean, if I sell that as a set, I would say at least 50 bucks probably. Yeah. Maybe more. It's a cool set. Yeah, it's not like a nice brand or anything, but. It's like, I know people that like horses and they like horses, yeah. so. And then like this, remember I found one the other day, the polo yeah. horse, which we still have that one in our room. I Is it the at. same size? Uh, I don't think it's quite the same. The other one had like brown on the bottom. Okay. But I actually like this one better. So I don't know if we'll keep both for you or sell one, but I have sold one before for like 60 to 70, so. I like them. I, I think I will hang on to them yeah, for a bit. Nice. And if we wait long enough, you'll probably find a whole set. <laughs> That's true, considering this is the third one I've found there. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I mean, again, finding bags just to carry my stuff, but then this would be worth something if I sold it. Yeah. I think this is Kalia, the Carrie Underwood line. So I just kind of grabbed that. I, I was running out of time, so I didn't check everything super good for flaws. I don't know. It almost looks like the Poshmark symbol. I was going to say, it looks too. like the Poshmark symbol. But I don't think Poshmark is. Oh, yeah, it's kind of. Um, yeah, it's got to be. So. Okay. I'll probably list that, I don't know, 20 to 30 maybe. Some trademark infringement yeah. going on. <laughs> um, Obermeyer vintage, like a snowsuit, made mm -hmm. in Hong Kong. Oh. This is it's 10. A, this one. I don't, that is a tall. I don't think that's a kid. I, I don't know if it's like women's, but 10, like vintage 10. Mm. 
because I'm It looks time. very slim. It does look slim, but look how long it is. Yeah, right? very long and slim. Size, right? This can't, like our kid no, is that's, almost 10. <laughs> so that'd be it's like, gotta be women's just like yeah, vintage sizing. Super time. petite. Yeah. Um, it does have the zip and hood. It seemed to be in good shape. I didn't really see any like snags, like it's dirty, but I can wash it. I didn't look up a comp. I imagine this is over 50, like yeah. maybe even more. So I'll list that. Uh, this was actually also in that Porsche bag, so I just got it because it was new, but it didn't really weigh much. I'll just list that on its own. Just a nice. cute little wallet or makeup bag or something. It says handmade in Boulder, so. Boulder, cute. Colorado? Yeah. eBay sent me a message that's not that I made a sale. Oh. Uh, this is Tipsy Elves. What? Oh, <laughs> I was like, is Santa falling out? <laughs> is he? It looks oh. like... <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even look at it that close. It does have some wash wear, but... I mean, these tipsy old sweaters used to go for like yeah. 30 plus uh, now, maybe like 20 and probably not till next year, but yeah, I grabbed that. This, I think I'm going to try on a keep it. I think it's Torrid. Hogwarts. The Torrid like stuff that's other brand, like other like Disney, they don't even Harry put Potter, their brand on they it. don't write it, but since it says size one, I'm pretty sure it's mm. Torrid. It's just like a Harry Potter sweater though with Hogwarts on the back. So I'm going to try that on. If it fits, I'm going to keep it. If it doesn't, I'll probably list it. This would probably go for like 25 to 30, honestly. Yeah. Okay. What what's class are you? What class do you think you are? I would like to think I'm a Gryffindor. Or house, I mean. Gryffindor. <laughs> what about you? I think I'm a Slytherin. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I, that's when when I played Hogwarts Legacy, that's what I put in my answers and it said I was Slytherin. So did you ever finish that one? I did. I know that we were. I was trying to play with you. I was like not into it. All right. Shoes. I did find a good amount of shoes, I think. These are Jim Bray, so Once Upon a Child. These are just Zoe and Zach, so Once Upon a Child. Um, these are Skechers. Dusty, but really good shape otherwise. I'll list these for probably 25 to 30. Um, these, I feel like I've mentioned before, I've swore off like Nike racing type stuff, but I thought these Is were, that what these are? Yeah, like a track clean. Like, thing. okay. Um. I see. So yeah, Nike Zoom Victories. They're in really good shape and yeah, I liked the color. So I'm sure at least 20, maybe 30, but yeah. Just, I, I swore them off because the first and time I sold them, the person tried to say that I... They were too small or yeah, something? Yeah, they were too small, but then they were accusing that I said that they're the wrong gender. Like, I'm like, here's the Nike size chart. They're definitely yeah. a women's this size. So, yeah. anyways. I've sold them since and it's been fine. Yeah. Somebody didn't know what size <laughs> they needed, I guess. They were. I think they were just trying to get a return yeah. where they didn't have to pay for something, honestly. So. People will say whatever they, you know, whatever they can to, yeah. <laughs> to not have to pay shipping back mm -hmm. or something. This is just like Kohl's brand, like a, a look-alike type shoe. Um, I might try those at the best. I'll try it. I don't know that they'll take them, but I can probably list them for 20 if not. Natives I generally like selling, but these are pretty beat up. So I'm going to wash them and just take them to Once Upon a Child. <laughs> Reese has moved. <laughs> You're in the danger zone now, buddy. Um, these are some keen kids size. I'll probably list these, but they need a wash first. Um, these are so cute. These are my kids' favorite shoes, but these are like a baby size version of them. So I'm going to list these on my own, probably for 20 or so, but I'm going to wash those first. <laughs> you showed that to the boys and they're like, oh, it's so I cute. <laughs> um, these are coach, like the purse coach. Um, but like a heel, so I don't normally like selling heels, but coat shoes at the vents. The leather is really nice, super soft, a little scuffed in the front. I might touch it up with Doc Martens Wonder Balsam, but otherwise, I'll just list them as is. Oh, womp womp. <laughs> so actually, I don't think I'm going to be able to sell these. I just noticed they're like peeling on the inside. Let's so. see. Huh? We're at, oh, like I all see. Over. <laughs> Yeah. I think I just got excited yeah. and I was also trying to meet you guys at in and out and yeah. <laughs> I was like, that's okay. It's okay. Yeah. I mean, bins, right? So how much? Probably two bucks. Yeah. So I just said that cost gets into the other stuff. Yeah. That's yeah. okay. All right. It is okay. But if those weren't messed up, those are probably at least 30, 30 or 40. All right. We got some Sorel sneakers. Um, 
Not too bad, not perfect. Probably at least 30. I didn't know they made sneakers. You didn't. <laughs> I guess maybe I did, but yeah. I forgot. <laughs> uh, these are Footmates. Um, I like selling these on my own, but these aren't like that good, like a little dirty. So I might just do those at Once Upon a Child. These are Beezies. Beezies. Um, 20 to 30. These are Vince and I actually kind of like them, so I might keep these for myself, but Vince is expensive. I've never had super good luck selling it. Like it sells, usually takes a while and never sells for anywhere near, like I don't know how much these cost do, but I would say probably 200 at least dollars or close to it. 200 new? Yeah, wow. I would say that. That's just my guesstimate, but anyways, I'm gonna try those on for myself. Um, got some men's Sperry, it's a little dusty, but. Not too bad, probably close to 30 on those. These are spring step. Um, not a super cute style, but I'm sure at least 20. I actually sold those flip flop ones that I found in probably the last haul for 20 last night. Someone offered 20 and I just accepted, so. Okay. I'm more willing to accept stuff when I got it from the bins. Yeah. This is paying $10 a pair, so. And these are just BOC. Those usually are easy, pretty much like 15 bucks. Nice. More shoes. More shoes. I found some good ones in this bin. These are nice Sorel, like the Joan of Arctic, I think. Joan of Arctic? <laughs> uh, I mean, I used to be able to get like 100 bucks for these. Now it's probably more like 50, maybe up to 80, but we'll mm -hmm. see. Uh, these are ortho feet. They are a little dirty, like, I need to crack that off. Crack. <laughs> Scrape. <laughs> I don't know, Looks there's like, like a, a spot, spot here, but I still got them. I mean, their bottoms are good and they were size 11 extra wide, so. A little dirty there. But yeah. I think I can clean those up in like perfect shape. I'd probably say like 40 or so, but maybe like at least 20, probably 30. These are a great find. <laughs> we'll get to um, in a minute. <laughs> these are like an UGG tall boot, so a little dirty, but not too bad. Treads are pretty good. Nice leather. Um, UGG doesn't do as well as it used to, but I'm yeah. still going to grab those at the bins. I expect probably 30 to 40. Um, these are Crocs. It's like a little clog with fur in them. Probably 25 to 30. Crocs with the fur. Crocs with the fur. Um, what are these? These are Antonio Milani, which I don't think I've ever sold these, but yeah, it's not generally a, jeez, not a pickup. Um, they just feel like a nice leather. I'm like checking if they're even real leather. They literally feel really nice. They have to be real leather. Right? Why'd you say jeez? It looks like they were charging $66 on the Goodwill. <laughs> yeah. But 49 cents, it's weird. They've never seen them priced anything at 49 cents. So I was also looking for the Goodwill dart. Anyways, I don't know how much those are, but I feel like taller boots like this are harder to move these days. We'll see. Um, another pair of Sorel. Like, uh, I think these are men's. Tracker. Yeah, probably at least 50 out of those. Um, these I just got because they were in mostly good shape. Technica. I don't know, nice. Maybe 40, 50. Um, these are Dr. Scholl's, like a silver sandal, probably 20 or so out of those. Um, these are Express. I'm going to probably put those in the bicycle trade. I don't think they take ballet flats very often, but I'll try them. Otherwise, I can probably get 10 to 15. These are Walmart shoes. I'm also going to try their first just because they're new. They mm -hmm. did take those snakeskin booty Walmart ones the other day. So, um, These are dogs. <laughs> Some dogs. Cute little floral print though. So I'll wipe those down and then probably 20 a ship. Yeah, I was excited to find these because I was like, oh, these are like brand new, which they basically are. In my head, these were like New Balance 990s. Yeah. But they're not. They're New Balance 877s, which it's okay. <laughs> so just that they're like this condition. I'm probably gonna list them maybe 50 to 60. So yeah, really nice looking shoe. Okay. So not what you thought when you yeah. bought them, but still. Right. <laughs> Even for 30, I'd be happy. Yeah. I think those are a good one. <laughs> right. 
More shoes. Look at that. I did get a lot of shoes, and this might be mostly all the shoes. Okay, right. Thanks for hanging out with us with this long haul, guys. <laughs> Hopefully with us not being able to put up as many videos. Hopefully you guys can appreciate the longer haul. Maybe split it over, like it, split over a couple days if it's too much at once. <laughs> I love sharing it. Yeah. So. Thank you so much for watching though. Um, I don't know that I've ever sold this brand extra tough. Wow, um, extra tough. I feel like I looked up comps and they seemed okay. I feel like the sell through was good. So I'm gonna grab them at the bins. I think they're going for at least maybe 30, close to 30. Worth giving a shot? Yeah. Little baby shoes, once upon a child, pretty much always takes. These little mini slippers, new at tag for once upon a child. These are kids like Columbia snow boots. Those I can usually get close to 30 on my own, so I'll sell those. Um, these are a little bean. Mm. Little duck Some bean things. duck boots. Yeah. So probably, probably 30. Um, these I would take the once upon a child, but these actually sell really well on my own. They're just Oshkosh, but I, I can usually get like 15 bucks for these, so and they're basically new. So I'll sell those. Um, these are kids' Kamek sandals. I always sell the snow boots. I don't think I've ever sold sandals, but these look new, so I, I might just list those on my own. Are they snow sandals? Uh, yeah. <laughs> so once upon a child, I think would sell those for like six fifty or seven fifty, which means they'd only give me a buck or two. So yeah, I think I can get at least fifteen. These are more dogs, so there's purple, probably 20 bucks after I clean them. And a D-A-W-G-S. Yeah. <laughs> These are little Carter shoes for Once Upon a Child. These are children's place for Once Upon a Child. Uh, this is whatever that brand is. Like Diadora? Um, yeah, like a bike shoe. Di Diadora? I'm actually sad, so like... As I'm trying to like sort my car, get out of there. <laughs> They're like keep bringing out new stuff. And of course I have to look, but like, I wasn't like there right when they said, go ahead and shop. Mm -hmm. So then when I finally went over, there were still a few of these pairs in there. Like these, these I mean, they're not like super great brands, but these were all like brand new looking. So like these were ones that, I'm pretty sure these are like ones that like Goodwill tries to like sell on their own, like maybe online. Oh, oh, I see. So. Yeah, so it was just a whole bin of shoes. Like, imagine the ones they thought were the good ones, which some of them were. Yeah. But I'm sure I missed out on a lot because of that. But anyways. So these are cycling these shoes? These are a cycling shoe, yeah. But they got, like, cleat bottom? Hmm. I think that's Is all. that how they all are? I think so. Okay. Um, Diadora <laughs> Diexplora. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> so these are Toms, but, yeah, they're just, like, in perfect condition. So grab those. Probably 20 to 30. These are Sorrel. Um, Slippers? Yeah. So probably close to 30 on those. Uh, these are kids Nike, not in the best shape. I mean, there's nothing necessarily wrong. They're just used. So I'm gonna take those to Once Upon a Child though. These are Vince Camuto, which I would not normally grab, but since they looked almost new, mm -hmm. I did. Probably like 20 bucks. So they're higher than normal booties, huh? Yeah. Um, Skechers Foamies, Flip Flops, probably 20. These are just like rocket dog booties, so probably 20 to 25 or so out of those. So yeah, I'm very happy with the shoes. Yeah. Oh, got some clothes. Um, this is Forever 21, which I generally would never pick up, but it was new. I'm like, I was hoping that the bicycle trade will take that, but. Mm. If they don't, it's probably never gonna sell for me. So <laughs> we do. I got two pairs of these like Pack Sun jeans. I feel like they've taken all Pack Sun jeans from me. Okay. These look like a pretty new modern style. So does it? <laughs> I was well, thinking like '80s style. <laughs> well, that's like a current style. <laughs> yeah. High rise straight. Acid washed. I don't see a date necessarily, but yeah. I'm just like that's like Pack Sun's newer tag. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Um, this is woman within, so like plus size, just like nice denim jacket, plus floral embroidery. I'll list that probably 25 to 30. This is men's polo rough one, just like a knit sweater. It's not wool, it's not, oh. Got a little bit of staining. 
so I'll watch that. I didn't see that. Yeah. I literally was like, mm, yeah, it looks good. <laughs> it might come out. We'll see. If not, I mean, that's probably a 20 to $30 sweater without the stain. So yeah. if it doesn't come out, it's probably a redonate. These are grace and lace, but I think kids size and they're not in amazing shape, but I've sold some before in this condition for like 15 to 20. So I did grab them. So yeah. I'll probably just list those on my own. This is for Once Upon a Child, one donation, so Walmart, kids, flannel. I was gonna try these on myself. This is Savannah Jane. Just feels like that Barefoot Dreams kind of mm -hmm. material, really cute pattern. And I was gonna try this one on too, Sincerely Jewels. If not, I'll list it. Well, I'll probably take it to buy sell trade first. And then I'll list it if yeah. I have to, maybe for like 20 or so. This I just got because it was new, but it's just tech gear. It's not gonna go for a lot, but try that. This is just a Volcom tee for Connor. This is North Face, but it does have Cave of the Winds embroidery on it, which- Yeah, it's know, a local attraction here in Colorado yeah. Springs. So I was thinking I might take this to Plato's and then we'll see if they'll take it. Just since it is local, maybe they would. I don't know. I, I've seen stuff with embroidery on it there. Yeah. Like, I don't know if they accidentally bought it without noticing. Yeah. But I figure if they don't it. take it, maybe I'll try. I'll try it. We got a seam yeah. ripper. Well, I did sell a North Face windbreaker with stuff on it the other day for 20 something. So. Mm. I'm sure I can sell it on my own too, just as is. Oh. <laughs> I did that on purpose. Yeah. You have to pick it all up. Lost the dog. <laughs> Actually, I have a lot more than these. Um, I don't know. I was just on a plushy kick yesterday, I guess. Um, this little pineapple. I think I can get at least 10, 10 to 15. Nice. I'm out of bin space, so I'm just gonna put them wherever. <laughs> <laughs> Um, this is like a dog, I guess, from, it's sold at Shields. I feel like I saw some comps around 10 to 15, so. Yeah. I thought it was a cute little pointer, right? Yeah, it looks like a, some kind of pointer. Got kind of a Pokemon card. <laughs> I, every time I find them, I just bring Yeah, them. I mean, that kid's yeah. got probably a thousand Pokemon <laughs> cards just from the bins, yeah. so. Little Minecraft spider plushie. This was like a Hallmark. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, this is Hallmark, so I did grab that, I don't know, probably 10 to 15. <laughs> uh, this is one of those baby carriers, which they took the one I bought them last time out once upon a child, so I'm going to try that up there. Jeep brand? Yeah. Hmm. Oh, more plushies. Actually, these ones, I didn't look up, but I was like... It's Star Wars. I'm just going to get them and I'll have time to look them up. And yeah. We looked them up last night and they seem like they might 40, be 40 bucks each. 40 to 50 each? Yeah. Maybe. So these are vintage Kenner 1980 something. 83, maybe, I think uh, you said, yeah. So. And they're in good shape. There were some rough ones. This one does have, this one's a little bit. It has a couple stains, but yeah. I think I can clean it up, so. Yeah. Yeah. I bought these things in 10 to 15 and so when we got home and they were 40, that's pretty cool. Yeah. All right, this is for our kids, little Pokemon plushie. Um, this I just got because they had five of them and I was just gonna put them in a lot. Oh. Although they, I was gonna wash them. Is that the whole crew? I don't Probably think it's not, the whole right? crew, but these are like the modern ones. Yeah. But, you know, maybe like 20 bucks, 20 or so, 20, 25, five bucks each, I don't know. Um, I didn't know what this, was but it was real leather so i just got it without looking up chaos leather collection chaos leather collection it was in good shape so i got it yeah probably something i got myself a car deodorant is that weird <laughs> i know you think it's weird <laughs> anytime i buy something i'm just gonna put this in the car and get there just in case uh this is i just thought this was a cute bag for it's from barnes and noble but yeah i, I like it more plushies. Saved its life. And this, I don't know. I was thinking about taking this to Once Upon a Child, but I don't know because it's a plushie if they would, but it is new, so we'll see. They've taken some stuff I was surprised about the other day. 
Um, got a couple of jelly cats. So probably at Sweet. least 10 each. I didn't look these ones up. Some jelly cats can go for a lot. These are pretty, especially the bunnies, like very typical. Yeah. Maybe the giraffes, giraffes are pretty popular. Yeah. What was the one I sold the other day with the like neck? It was turtle. Like a, it was a turtle. It was like really bad shape. It's still yeah. for almost 20 bucks. So. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, these are, I was going to put those in the once upon a child bin. I don't know. Oh, like If not, I was going to maybe crayon. make an infant, like, little toy lot with a few of these things. Like, I don't think once upon a child would take that, but. Yeah. Otherwise, just saving them till we go to a baby shower or something. Right. Uh, this is Douglas, but I only got it because it was new. It's a guinea pig. I think so, yeah. Yeah. Probably 10 bucks or so out of that. Oh, uh, this one has a little spot. This is Biscuit. It's just Kohl's Cares, which we all know Kohl's Cares only retails for five, but like sometimes people want them after. This one was actually going for about 15 free ships, so like 10 oh. plus push ship. But He's got, now that he has something on his His bed. name is now Spot, not yeah. Biscuit. <laughs> uh, this I just thought was cute. This is Thumper. Is that Thumper? Yeah, I think yeah, so. Yeah, from Bambi. Disney, cute little Thumper. He's Twitter paid Probably at least 10 bucks. This is Build a Bear Paw Patrol. It did have his tag still. This is smaller. Our kids have a Build a Bear I feel Paw Patrol. Like, yeah. And that one's way smaller. Yeah, it's but smaller than that. I don't know. So. Interesting. I don't know. <laughs> oh, this was cool. I found this in the very end. It is from Disney Parks, which means I'm pretty sure you can only buy it at the park. So turn it on. Um, what a, There's like a switch. Oh, I turned it on, but oh. not what. And then, yeah, you extend it. <laughs> I thought I was... There you go. Look at that. You're a Jedi. Yay. <laughs> yep. So it works. Disney parks. So, yeah. These, this was going for about... The retail on it was 30 I think I can get about 30 30 to 35 plus ship. It seemed like crayon ones were going for almost 32 So, anyways. Was a cool, <laughs> Don't worry yourself off. Cool find at the end. You might want to turn the switch off. Oh. I'm trying. Oh, the, the off. I'm just yeah. trying to push this one. Okay. There you go. <laughs> All right. Um. I mean, I feel like I had heard of this brand. Blah blah. <laughs> I don't know. Blah blah. Blah blah. Those are uh, interesting. <laughs> yeah. I think I can get like close to fifteen bucks each. This one has a little spot. I need to work on, but. Okay. Yeah. The blah blah <laughs> sisters. This I just thought was cute because it was gingerbread. It looks like it was probably from Hobby Lobby though. Twenty-three dollars originally, which means at least half off of that price from Hobby Lobby. I don't know. I'll Is that the new mascot it. plush? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love the gingerbread <laughs> stuff. Should we start selling gingerbread plush? <laughs> <clears throat> um, clothes. Oh, I've sold so many of these like stitch costumes, usually around twenty bucks. Yeah. Um, these are for Once Upon a Child, this Old Navy, and then CNC California, it's a little raincoat, Sherpa line. Uh, this is BKE, I'm hoping the Bicel Trade will take this just because it's not really something I like to list. It's faux leather, but... Mm. Um, this is just probably a little makeup bag for me. This is Spider. Actually... He kind of does need a coat, huh? That he can yeah. go to that school. So cool. This is a kid's 10, 12, so that's perfect. I was yeah. going to, uh, once upon a child would definitely take this, and they'd probably honestly sell it for 35 and honestly give me probably like 10 bucks. But yeah, the other day I thought he left his North Face, like yeah. nice down coat Puffer. at school, <laughs> which I'm fine if he wears it to school, takes it to school, but not like loses it at school because yeah. it's his nice one. It's this like one, Spider's a nice brand. And it keeps him warm. Like, yeah. I want to make sure he's warm enough. Yeah. So, anyways. I think it's a good one. idea. Let him have this one for school. So. And he likes red. Like yeah. him. So, that's <laughs> good. Uh, these are H&M. Hopefully, the Bicel Tree takes them overalls. Nice. Um, this is cute. This is Cabela's, but it's Gore-Tex. Like a windbreaker. This might be, like, 40 or so. So. Sweet. Happy with that. All this stuff. Another new bag, huh? Um, for the what? old lady who likes Eddie Bauer, she can also dress her doggy. <laughs> Should I ask my mom if she wants ever Lily? I was going to say, this is like perfect for, I mean, this seems smaller than Lily, maybe mm, like for Milo. <laughs> I think that's twice as big as Milo. Milo's <laughs> tiny. Yeah, this is a tiny, this is a size extra small. I've never seen dog clothes that are extra small. Like, <laughs> anyways, that's really cute. <laughs> so I got that. I always think it's funny when a dog needs a parka. <laughs> <laughs> Um, this is Abercrombie, I think, like, super old tag. Like, look at it. Oh, yeah. It's pretty old, right? 
I don't know. It says 19, 1892. It's not that. It's not in very great shape. Like, it has the yellowing, although I can never tell if that's, you know, sometimes that's on purpose, yeah. right? But I don't know. I could probably see. I don't know. If I'm going to list this or take a device, I'll try and... Um, this I just got because it was new, but just SO brand. Hopefully the Bicel Tree takes that. And then this is Wild Fable, so that's Target. There's so much Wild Fable at the bins, and I don't usually buy it all, but I've been kind of picking up one or two pieces, and they've taken every piece I've brought them at the Bicel Tree. Like, I'm being particular about which ones I'll grab, but... Yeah. So, if they start not taking it, I'm not going to keep picking it up, but I'll grab a piece here and there. Hopefully right. Hopefully they take that, so. All right, that and then the Hulkin. Oh, we already like past an hour. No, we're only at 40, about 45 minutes okay. right now. We'll probably be right at an so, hour. So, yeah, I was thinking this was going to be like an hour and a half long. So, <laughs> I think we're making good time. Good. I haven't made too many jokes. <laughs> this is Pottery Barn Kids, just cute little rainbow pillow. So, I'll list that probably for, I don't know, 20. This I just saw like at the very end as I'm like at checkout and I'm I was like, oh my gosh, is that Johnny Wise? <laughs> yeah. I was like, there's no way Johnny Wise is just hanging out right by the cash register, right? Yeah. It's not Johnny Wise. It's Johnny wasn't. <laughs> yeah. Um, this is just cold. <laughs> it's funny because it's just cold water creek, which is <laughs> yeah, old lady brand. Although I love this <laughs> and I want to try it on now. See, it's that's because you're an old lady. I am an old lady. You old lady. Um, that's pretty, right? Like, I like it. Embroidery. I guess I'm an old lady too. I, I like it. <laughs> Um, these are new package old navy quartz. So probably just take a no one's fun a child though. I could probably get ten to fifteen on my own, but sweet. It's fun. You used to work at Old Navy, right? And um, Gap or Gap, and that's how everything comes, right? I know people <laughs> get mad at us like for using our cellophane bags. Yeah. Literally every morning we would take. Hundreds and hundreds, thousands of Indi items. Individually wrapped in, items. In these bags, and these bags just went not in a recycle bin, yeah. just in the garbage. So. <laughs> yeah. Um, I understand the concern. Right. Uh, this is vintage, made in the USA, Polo Ralph Lauren hat. It's pretty dingy, but I feel like I can probably get 15 bucks still out of that at least. These are new with Tag Men's Lucky Brand. I feel like these bins were pointless today because there's so much. You even said that. You're like, we might have to pause. And I was, I was like, like, is I five going to be enough? <laughs> it is. I think I just put them in there in a weird way. Um, so, yeah, Men's Lucky Brand, but new with Tag. So, I think I can get 30 to 40, honestly, on these on my own. So, okay. excited about those. Yeah. Uh, this is new with Tag, but, like, Men's Just American Eagle basic T-shirt. So... Probably take that to Play-Dohs. Hopefully they take it. These are Faded Glory, which, yeah, just like a Walmart new tag. But they're cargo, which is kind of like, and again, these are probably, yeah, I think these are from 2014, which is when Cargos was in back then. <laughs> so hmm. that's almost uh, 10 years ago. That's crazy. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I'm going to try those at the bike. Gosh, side, 2014 was 10 years yeah, ago. That's crazy. Man. <laughs> Um, these are Levi's 501 women's button fly, just jeans. I'm going to try those at my soul train. This I would normally not pick up Jessica Simpson, but I feel like knitted vests are like in, so I did grab that for my soul train. Hopefully they take it. Otherwise I can probably get like 10 bucks for it. Um, this is just LL Bean, just basic t-shirt. LL Bean, it just feels nice. This is so soft. Yeah, it is Pima Cotton, so. If you say so. Oh. <laughs> it's really soft. I think my hands are just too rough. rough. Uh, I'm going to list that because the Bicel Tree is not going to take it. This is Madewell. Really cute little top. I'm sure that they would take that. I could probably sell it on my own, but for Madewell, I'd rather list like denim or knit, like sweater stuff. Um, these are Cinch. So I sold a pair the other day for over 20 so, pretty decent shape, I think. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'll list those on my own. Uh, these are just little pants for once upon a child. This is new with tag free people. Just a basic black shirt. I might try that on, but it's a super stretchy material. Super I love. stretch. 
Um, this is Car Hartman's, like a pearl snap. So I'll list that probably for 20 or so. Yeah, nice. Uh, for once upon a child, little dip. I don't know where they sell that. Lazy days. Um, these are Chico's women's jeans, but like floral. Is that embroidered? Yeah. Nice. So. I've done well with Chico's, yeah. so. I like the two-tone. Yeah. Or like the monotone. I think I'm gonna try my bisol trade first, just since I have so much to list, but yeah. we probably won't take them. Same with these, Old Navy. I just always buy these because I've liked them for myself, and then I'll sell them for 10 to 15, just some Old Navy pull-on jeans. I was very happy to find this. It's an Area FR. Work. So remember last time I sold this? It was a men's medium. It's all within less than an hour for like f close to 40 bucks, I want to say, and that was a medium. Oh, what is that? Why do I always find stuff? Oh, no, is that just telling you it's... Area FR. MVM. Oh, MVM. And you can't see it through. MVM. And it's supposed to be I wonder if it's just company? to show that it's... Hmm. Okay, well. Flame resistant. I don't know what MVM means. Okay. Let us know if you know. <laughs> Anyways, this is an extra large tall size. So if I sold a medium that fast for like close to 40 bucks, this is probably an easy 40 bucks. So, yeah, excited about that. Yeah. There was two pairs of jeans of this yesterday, but I ended up throwing them back because they were just really bad, which I know I sold that other pair with a rip, but these ones had rip stains. So just, yeah. I had all this stuff and I couldn't make up my mind. Thinking back, I wish I would have grabbed them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is Chico's, just like a little denim jacket shirt thing. I'll probably list that on my own for 20 to 30. This is just for our pillow collection, just a cover. <laughs> what? It's just I found our a pillow lot. collection. <laughs> we'll, go, we'll have to share you Kathy said she would never have a collection in her life. She would never collect anything. It's not anything. like a collection. It's just, uh, <laughs> I actually listed a cute pillow yesterday or the day before that would be perfect for this office because it kind of matches this carpet. But yeah. I listed it instead of keeping it. <laughs> Well, you could always take it down. I think this is only my, only my second time or so finding Codapaxi. Codapaxi, yeah. yeah. So, I was excited to find that. I don't know if it's men's or women's. It's a size small. So, yeah. probably 30 to 40. Unisex. Yeah. These I just got because they were new. It's Van Heusen. No, Savane. <laughs> mm. I don't know where this is sold, but I've sold it before. And these are a size 52 by 32. So. I'm sure I can get 20 bucks for these. It might take a while. Yeah. Uh, these are Rock Revival men's shorts. Wow. Never seen. I've only sold them a few times. I, I kind of like the stitching. Yeah. <laughs> I know they're kind of like bold, but Good. it almost looks like a comic book or like a <laughs> cartoon. <laughs> cartoon so pants. I don't know how much these are worth, but I was excited to find them. I want to say at least 30 probably. I'll list those. Um, this is soft surroundings, denim jacket. I'll list that too. Probably 30 or so. What are these? These probably need a wash, whatever they are. Oh, BKE. BKE. Seth, and they're a 36 extra long, which I think is at least like a 36 inseam. So. so 36 men's? Yeah, with the tall inseam. Yeah. So. Um, I think these are at least 30. And then a couple of pieces for Once Upon a Child. We got Carter's, and then this is Jurassic, Jurassic World, like swim shirt, which it said two piece. So I'm just gonna rip that off since I only have one piece. <laughs> They'll probably still take it, hopefully. All right, and it all came down to this last. Yeah, this is just like Hulkin. random toys and stuff. Oh, this was like a Tickle Me Elmo. The, like the ones that were going for like a thousand bucks. The we first these? gen. Yeah, 1995. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so, I don't think it's worth much of anything. Maybe like 10 bucks. That's but in I just pretty thought it was good shape. Cool because, yeah. His insides have fallen out, but <laughs> we got to test him. Hopefully he doesn't have any corrosion. Um, so I just got a bunch of games. Oh, I guess I'll just tell the story first. So, yeah, like I mentioned, I checked out Mostly because my cart was just full and there was no space to put a second cart next to my cart. So I checked out $100 worth of stuff just to get it to my cart and have yeah. more space in my cart. <clears throat> this was one of the things I was going to check out in my first haul or my first part. 
Um, I was like, I took it up there hoping that they would count it as a game. I was yeah. like, is this a game? Or she's like, no, that'd be by weight. And I was like, okay, can you tell me how much? And she weighed it, and she was like, it'd be nine forty-eight or something. It's <laughs> like, I don't know how much it weighed, but dollar right. sixty-nine a pound to up to that. Yeah. So I was like, okay, let me think about it. So I take that back to my cart, and then I'm like, I'll just try that again later when hopefully another <laughs> worker is checking people out, which I did. And at this point, like my second haul ended up being like 158, which so it had taken her a while to like transfer all the things to the cart to like weigh it all. So I had all these other things at the bottom of my cart basically. Yeah. And then she's like, I'll just charge you. She counted them up. She's like, I'll just charge you for 10 games, like including like this. Like, so these all got charged <laughs> as games. So like, I think she the was just big boss grill. getting bored of like trying to figure out what everything was. <laughs> I was like, deal. Deal. So I did get this for 69 cents. I, I mean, our kids don't really do Play-Doh anymore. I figured this, I was going to take it to once on a trial. They might take it. I mean, Cole's had it for 30 bucks. Yeah. Um, otherwise, I was like, it'd be a cool birthday present. But like, I don't know how old it is or if the food Right, is how dry. Me, so. I don't know. I had to get it. And then we got... Dad jokes, yeah. face off. Game. I think hmm. that was 10 to 15 minutes. That might be fun for the lives. Maybe do like a dad joke segment or something. And I can't sell it. Well, you spent. Uh, I'll I'll buy it for okay. double what you paid for it. Yeah. <laughs> and then you like quadruple add pieces. Uh, this is for Once Upon a Child Candyland. This is a puzzle all list. Cool. Um, this is a puzzle all list. This is not new, but it is the elf on the shelf. It has the elf and the book. So I've sold each piece separately for decent money. So yeah. I think at least 20 bucks for the set of those. This is probably just for us. It seemed like it was new. Obviously, I don't know if it works, but a dartboard for 69 cents. It does have a few darts in the bottom. So. Yeah. Um, yeah. Which, if we need more darts, this should be easy to get. Oops. Oh, wow. I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> there is quite a bit of ice in here, actually, so. Okay. Um, I'll figure out where all the rest of that one. This is just for us, too. Yeah, um, this was kind of neat. Yeah. So so I was thinking I was going to be paying my weight, which is kind of heavy because it has all these plates. Looks never yeah, used. It, it does look, this was in styrofoam, but I wanted to make sure it didn't look gross, and yet yeah. it doesn't look like it's used, so. It's almost like a George Foreman grill, but has different kinds of attachments this one reminds me of my childhood we had a sandwich press kind of thing, like us like makes grilled cheese sandwiches I'm like that so. to try the omelet one because my omelet always just turns into a scramble because it never looks yeah. like an omelet so and i like that the plates are removable yeah. we can take them out and wash them so i'm excited about that um our kids used to like these but this is plus plus i'm gonna probably put those in the once upon a child bin uh and then this for once upon a child Classic Fisher Price. This I just bought this for us. I don't know what specifically I liked it for. I just thought it was a cute little plate. It's like just a sushi plate or just a. Yeah, it, it almost reminded me of like when we go to Melting Pot or something, you know. Oh yeah. But, you get your sauces here. Yeah. yeah. It could also be like a little makeup or jewelry plate or something. I, don't know what is that for. I just thought this was cute. Little skip hop, little watermelon fresh. I think I saw a comp for like nine bucks. So. Um. Got Scrabble for Once Upon a Child, unless we want that. I don't know. We really don't. I think we have Scrabble. We might. Um, little lip balm maker. <laughs> so I was hoping Once Upon a Child would take that. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Do you think our kid wants that? Probably not. Um, I might want that. <laughs> so, I mean. Like, oh, it's like a paint. It's like yeah. a plaster thing. It was only. No, I don't think. Yeah. We did one with sharks one time, and we just it just never got finished. <laughs> Don't drink and draw. That looks fun. Yeah. Uh, this is just for our kids to play with. And nice. A trickers, chest, backgammon. I like that. Yeah, I like that one. Um, this is pampered chef, which I don't usually get pampered chef stuff, but since this was like, I don't know that it's new, but it's like all here and like they kept good care of it if they used it, so. Um, and I feel like I saw comps around 20 plus shipping, so. Is that the polka dot? Oh. It is. It's pink. not the ones that we had. We used to have yeah, one. Yeah, these say something about breast cancer on them. Oh. So. Help whip a cancer. Yeah. And then I was like, oh, that's cute. Color for Valentine's is coming up. Oh, yeah. Soon, so maybe I'll get those listed ASAP. Yeah. Um, 
this I just got for us. It seemed like it was new too. I mean, it's open now. I was like hoping that little chocolate fondue thingy. We did fondue with our kids for New Year's Day. Yeah. So we have one, but like if we ever want to do cheese and chocolate instead of having yeah. the clean in between, it's just nice. Looks cool. oh. like it'd be good for Valentine's Day too. That's true. <laughs> That and then, yeah, I think it's just all this crap, which is just a bunch of assorted. You want to dump it or do you just want me to? Okay. I don't know. I think these are the what are they called? Like oh, duplo the duplo. Yeah. So, like mini fig, but the duplo ones. Yeah, I figured I would just get all these and put them in a lot, right? I mean, that's how probably, good. yeah. I'm sure that I sell all these. I mean, this, all of these together yeah. are less than a pound. Right. I'm sure I can get 20 bucks at least. I don't know if that's one. Is that a, that looks like an Imagine Next or something. Probably. I got one Spider-Man minifig. It didn't seem like that good of a one. Right. So yeah, all those, a lot. Got some band shoelaces. This, I don't think it's really worth anything, but. Some Bo Peep. So. I mean, yeah, everything I showed you was about 200, let's say just 260. I think it was just under that. Sweet. Yeah. <laughs> so we got, don't forget that <laughs> that all got kind of mixed, no. mixed up about halfway <laughs> through, but. It's only 11 and I have the rest of the day to go pick up. To yeah. Day, so. Guys, that's it for this. <laughs> I honestly thought this was going to be a bit longer, but it ended up being about an hour. So thank you so much for hanging out over the last hour. We appreciate you so much and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.